Hi everyone, I'm Jenna Milley with It's On The Grid.com and The Wrap.com and I'm here with the filmmakers of the comedy. So we're so excited to talk to you. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what you did on the film? I'm Rick Alverson, I'm the director. All right. Tim Heidecker, actor. Eric Wareheim, actor. Great. How did this uh, story get started? How do you guys all come to work together? Uh, uh, it, it's been about a, a, a year in, in the works, the initial concept, and then uh, uh, Tim and Eric and uh, Greg Turkington and Jeff Jensen and uh, some other folks jump, got involved in the early summer. That's it? It's off no. and running. I remember it quite, taking quite, a much, quite longer. I mean, we start, I think a year before that we, we started talking oh, that's right. about the idea of doing this and whether or not it would even be possible. And, whether or not we would want to do something that wasn't something we wrote and directed, because we've never done anything quite like that before together. Um, and it not being a, really a comedy, despite the title of the film. Um, but Rick had this, this really great perspective on um, the way people communicate and the way guys talk to each other and the way we sort of act to each other. Um, that sounded interesting and um, sounded challenging and scary, so that, that felt like a good sign. <laughs> Cool. Can you give me a quick summary of what the movie's about, just for anyone who hasn't seen the trailer or doesn't know about it? Uh, it's, a, it's, you know, it, it, thematically it's about numbness and desensitization and like a cultural malaise and, and it's about voyeurism and it's about, for me, it's mov about movies as much as it is about like, you know, cultural um, events. So. How did you come up with the title, The Comedy? Did you know you wanted to have a title that was sort of ironic? It was Compared assigned to, to us by uh, the National Film Association. Most titles are assigned. <laughs> yeah. okay. the titling department. Yeah. <laughs> right. That happens. Very cool. How was the project pitch, pitched to you? Um, we, uh, we were sent Rick's first, or one of his movies called New Jerusalem that Tim and I watched and we both freaked out for us. I mean, it was literally backflips. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just this new kind of movie that we loved and was way different than the comedy that we do in the Tim and Eric world, and um, you know, worked out the schedule. And at first, we were making our own movie, billion dollar movie, around the same year, so it was kind of difficult. But we found the time and banged it out. I think it's one of those ideas or projects that sometimes come about where we sort of say, "Yeah, it sounds interesting," but in the back of our heads, kind of think, "You know, my uh, God, who, who knows if that's going to come together?" Like, you know. There's financing issues, there's scheduling issues, and it sort of felt like, you know, let me know if you get this together to do, we'll, we'll be interested. Probably hoping that it wouldn't come together, you know? <laughs> um, right. But uh, it did. <laughs> yeah. How has the movie been received so far? What is the feedback you're getting? Uh, it seems to be really dynamic, and there seems to be, it seems to be generating a lot of discussion, and uh, which is an ideal scenario for me. I mean, that's what the whole film is about you know uh, that's what you hoped for is people be talking about whether they liked it or not and how they feel about the characters sure yeah I mean even you know if somebody's disturbed by the film or if somebody you know is Shocked. is yeah or or you know it affects them in some way I mean there's so many uh, so much cinema out there that is is made just to pacify people and placate them and uh, it's uh, um, this is in opposition to that kind of uh, that kind of movie making and that kind of media. Which is perfect for Sundance. So is this your first time at Sundance? Mine. Okay. How, what's it been like? How do you, how are you finding it? Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's just amazing to have, you know, sold out shows and uh, just that many people taking in the film and, and discussion about it and uh, everybody's been very kind. How did you feel at that first screening? Were you nervous or were you thinking, I'm good, I can just roll in and see how people feel about it? Or was there any buzz beforehand that gave you a sense of what was going to happen? Uh, I mean, there's, you know, I mean, it, it, there's been this sort of, uh, it's not really a concern, but I mean, a curiosity about how the film would be received. I mean, it's populated by some comics, and it's called The Comedy, and it's a very gravely serious film. And, uh, the, you know, there's a, an effort at a lot of sort of destabilization and, and you know, making the thing uh, provocative in a way. And uh, um, it's sort of like a grand experiment, you know. Yeah. And, uh, 
There's about a 90% squirm factor in the movie. It's a Sundance term I've been using. Great. Yeah, you're not gonna, no one's going to fall asleep during this movie. You're either going to be engaged the whole time or you're going to walk out right away. There's about 10% walk out rate, which is pretty good. What's, your, what's the moment that people are walking out or squirming at the most? Uh, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, it's peppered with them. I mean, it's, there's... Yeah. The your first favorite? big wave I saw was there's, um, Greg Turkington and Tim are talking about a homeless person's penis and the cleanliness of it. <laughs> and I saw a full row of old timers just... That's it. That was it? For them. That doesn't make anyone laugh? It, well, I mean, it made a lot of people laugh, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's, that's what's great about it. It's either in or out. So you also have a, a movie here at Sundance, Tim yeah. and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. Can yeah. you talk about that a little bit? What was that process like, getting that together? Uh, well, we um, worked with the Funny or Die guys, um, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay and Chris Henchy. Um, we, you know, it started very simply as, uh, what do you guys want to do next with your careers? And what do you guys uh, want to aspire to do? And, you know, the, everybody, everybody wants to make movies. We wanted to make a movie. And, Thought we could uh, pull it off and had a, an idea for it and um, and uh, got involved with Magnolia Pictures, who from the beginning were kind of understood that for us to be successful, we would just need to make the movie the way we made our TV show and sort of in our own uh, way and in, in, in our own vacuum, sort of without any sort of notes or uh, suggestions from anybody and uh, or any kind of reins put on us. So they just let us kind of do what we needed to do to make the movie. Um, Can you talk a little bit about your writing process? What's it like to sit down and get started? How do you, how do you look at the blank page and what do you, where do you go with the big idea? Stare at each other for about four hours. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Right, yeah, blinking contests. No, we, you know, Tim and I met in film school 15 mm -hmm. years ago. We've been making stuff together. We've developed some kind of a form of communication. Google Docs is a big thing. Really? Drop down some mm -hmm. notes. Pretty, it's, it's a process of elimination, you know, we'll both have ideas and if we're both not on the same page about it, it doesn't make it in. That's sort of how we've made a lot of our stuff up till now. Do you work in the same room together? Is it on the phone or do you improv? We, th out? This film was, uh, we realized that the, the, the amount of work needed to write it was, you know, it's a lot of page, it's a lot of physical writing to, to get ideas in. So we went through a process of outlining and, and creating scenes and, you know, creating an overall idea of the, the, what we wanted the movie to be and, and you know, wrote, wrote the outline out kind of collaboratively. And then we, we broke it up into 10, 15 pages and like gave each other assignments because, you know, we didn't have a real schedule. We didn't have, uh, there was no air date for this movie. So it was, it was up to us to self-police the work. You know, we were like, okay, it was create a, a deadline schedule. Like, let's get X amount of pages done, and so we, I would do 10 pages, and he would do 10 pages, and we'd read them back and forth, and that seemed to work, you know, it seemed to take the burden off of one of us, each of us, to have to worry about this, writing this whole big thing on our own. Um, were you writing uh, while you were in production on the comedy? You were writing the script, or were you also no, in production? No, we, we had been finished making the Billion Dollar Movie by the, by the time we shot the comedy over the summer. How did you feel after you'd done your own movie, then going into someone else's movie? Did you feel like you learned something from already completing the process yourself? We learned that directing and starring in your own movie is very hard right. and, 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 and very intense. So working with Rick, just being on camera and trusting him to make it happen was... He looks very I, trustworthy. Really pleasant. <laughs> yeah, Rick was amazing in that he was very confident and um, uh, secure with the, his ideas. So because we had such a short schedule of making the comedy um, and there was so much to do and it was so mm -hmm. complicated, he was able to uh, not dither on scenes and just like, m if, when, he got, when he got what he wanted, we moved on. It wasn't a lot of deliberation. What's the biggest challenge for you when you're shooting, you find? Uh, just, uh, the biggest challenge is just you know, movies and thinking about movies and, and really an effort to try to contribute something that is, that is like, you, that you're involved with tac tactilely, yeah, and, and it isn't redundant, and it is some kind of contribution, and not just a more litter in the in the the mental yeah. space of the world. I mean, that's a real <laughs> that's that's a uh, it's a it, that's a, it's a it's a healthy burden, I think. Um, and uh, I mean, there's a there's a, a desire to uh, 
to rethink the process too for me. And uh, um, I mean, that's just as important as the, as the final product. So. What did you learn on this film that you feel like on your next film you can bring to it that you thought, oh, I finally got this right or figured out how to get past this obstacle? Oh, I think we need, uh, need like 18 days to shoot instead of 17. <laughs> Excellent. What's it like having these guys on the set? What's the mood like? Is it just? It's a, I mean, I'll answer that for you. It's a riot. It's wonky. I mean, it's just. It's you're just laughing the whole time while you're making a serious yeah, movie called the comedy. You couldn't get the word action out. He's laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's he like on set? Very serious. Gravely serious. Like you can't maybe crack him. Just gotten bad news on the phone. Serious. For 17 days yeah. in a row. <laughs> but if he had 18 days, he would be so relaxed. Oh man, that would have relieved so much stress. Did you guys uh, help with writing or improv or bring some ideas to the table, or was it very by well, the, page? the The dialogue's unscripted in the film, so okay. uh, as they were with my other movies. So I mean, th there's the casting, and then you know we come into this the collaborative space of these. You know, I mean, there are limitations on the on the scenes and the environments, and we talk about tone and 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 there's and then there's a lot of, you know, it was particularly uh, pleasant in a way because there was a lot of trust going around. For everybody, you know, I mean, I, I, I could, I could sort of, literally just watch things and make decisions, you know, whether or not to intercede at times. Um, yeah, your role seemed to uh, be holding back because we could go all day and kind of be on in a way and trying to be funny and stuff. And I think your, what you ended up doing a lot of time was saying, you know, you don't just relax, just you know, just. Calm down, do, you know, you don't need to do that much. Just less, less, less. Several different takes. How much time do you have to prepare once, you know, if you're doing this sort of improv, are you getting the notes on the day, or is it weeks before? How does this want to know how that works? like right before we roll, which yeah. I think is great. You know, Rick will pull you aside, give you a little direction individually or as a group, mm -hmm. and then, you know, you work it out while we're rolling. Yeah, the conversations. I mean, whether it's with you know with these guys or with anybody I was working with, were I just wanted them to be about films or about you know what what, what we were going to be engaging in and, and questions about you know the, like creative questions about how it all would all work. I mean, that's and then once we understand one another, we can move into the thing and it's sort of yeah. you know it's, it's they're kind of functional. To, I remember getting to a point where we would have conversations <laughs> and and. It got to a point where like I get it's like Rick, I get it. I don't I, I understand that you need that you feel that you need to communicate this to me. But there's you know, I, I get it I trust you and you tell me what you want me to do and the only way we're really gonna know if this is gonna work is if we just start doing it and adjusting it as we go along. And it was sort of just like there wasn't a lot that needed to be said because I just I think we all trusted each other and that we didn't we didn't have the answers before we started doing it, so get in the deep end and get our hands dirty and see what happened. Don't you, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and... Uh, Conversations I mean, that at some points start to feel a little academic. I'm like, well... Well, I mean, that's my it fault. Could be, <laughs> it could be, you could be right, but let's figure it out. Can you do an example now? Can you say... Of, of academic? Talk, talk, talk out, talk about this. I think I've this. been doing that. <laughs> Haven't I been doing that example? Professorial. Professorial. Oh, my gosh. So you're reading each other's minds. That's where you're, you didn't need any more direction. What was it like in editing? Did you feel like you had a ton of material? and Was it tough to? Uh, yeah, I mean, the film is it's sort of, uh, for me, that the, the, pro the conceptual process of the whole thing and the, and the writing continues through the editing and the thing is like changed in profound ways. And, and, and like, uh, I, I, I love editing because it ends up being tonal. And, mm -hmm. uh, it ends up being, you deal with the musicality of the thing and the rests and, uh, you know. I'm going to interrupt for a second. I just want a quick shout out to Arrowhead, our sponsor. Near moon for a crystal clear mountain water. Go Arrowhead. You just made me thirsty as hell. <laughs> Gang, so, make an arrow for Arrowhead water. Um, what do you guys want to do next? You going to work on another project together? What do, what do you got cooking? Definitely not. No, um, this is you're done. Our yeah, it's contractual. <laughs> it's after this interview. We, we can't speak to each other for two years.